Today we will solve a, a very simple question called uh, Hamming distance. So Hamming distance is the number of bits in which two numbers differ. So for example, this number denotes 3 and this denotes 5. This is 4 plus 1. So you see that this bit is same. This bit is different. So we got 1. This bit is also different, 0 and 1. So we got another one and then it's same. So Hamming distance between 3 and 5 will be 2. So how can we solve it? It's very simple. Uh, you can also use some built-in function if it's available in the language. For example, in C++ we have bit set. But let's not use that. So what we will do, let's say this is x, this is y. So if we take x, x or y, then all the bits which are same will become 0 and all which are different will remain. So the number of, now the problem uh, reduces to finding the number of set bits in x, x or y. So this is also very simple. Let's store this in a result r. So while r is greater than 0, you take r and 1. So 1 is everything is 0, last bit is 1. And if you take and with anything, only the last bit, if it's set, will become 1. If it's unset, it will become 0. So it will be either 0 or 1. So keep a count here. And then do count plus equal to this value. And then right shift this by 1. So when this becomes 0, uh, let's say the last most significant bit that was set in R was this one and everything else to the left of it was 0. So when, when we shift it by 5 bits, so this loop runs for 5 times, this will be go gone and it will become 0. And finally we will return the count. So let's quickly write the code for this. So I had already submitted uh, the one liner. I was just trying if it works or not. And it did work. So took the XOR of X and Y. Then bit set 32 bits. So this bit set returns uh, the set bits. Uh, so you have to use the count function. There are other functions as well like str or a string I am forgetting here. So that you can print the bit representation of a given number. Let's say you want to let me show you something just to understand this function. Let's say I want to print 5, bit representation of 5. Then what will I do? Bit set. This denotes how many bits you want to represent in 32 and then the actual number 5. Dot. I think it's a string or two string. I am forgetting. Let's try. This is just for your info, uh, not related to this problem. So you can see that this rep prints the bit representation of this 5. So it's very handy function. I find it handy in some situations, although we will not use it here. So let's comment it out. And you see that uh, if we write just one liner, the bit set, still it works. And if you submit it, it will give you 100% that is 0 millisecond. So now let's do it by proper way without using this built-in function. So let's comment it out. So this result contains only the bits which are different in X and Y. So overflow at line 9, so it should be uh, right shift equal to 1, 
so we will be right shifting result and here also it's 0 millisecond so now let's uh, write this in java and python and this is accepted in java as well and here there should not be any problem it should be 0 millisecond in most cases and finally in python so java and c++ code no change was required and it's accepted in python as well